Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to watch this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Aye by David Doe. The song is in the key of B, I believe. And um, I'm going to be using a G shape. Your capo should be on the fourth fret, as you can see. Um, so make sure you're using a G shape. So every single chord you're playing, make sure these two, these two fingers are going to be there. Except for the D, for the D chord. Okay, but let me show you how it looks like and how it sounds. So first of all, we have the G chord. We have the C. Then we have the D. Then for the second part of the chorus, we have the A minor. We have the D. And then we have the G. Okay, um, let me just run everything slowly and then you get what i'm talking about okay um so for the verse sorry well the verse and the chorus they use the same the same chord progression um so for the chorus or for the verse what you need to play is um just the g so you start on the g you play it twice then you go to to the c ah then go to the D. This D is a quick change, so you just play just once and then you go back to the G. Okay, let me show you how it goes very slowly. C, D, Just the same chord progression for the verse and the chorus, okay? And for the picking pattern, it's the same thing throughout your song. And what you're gonna be doing is that you you pick the bass note first. So you play like one, two, three. But you just play fast, and then um, you you um, plug the first, the second, and the third string. Okay, so you use your, your index finger for the third string, your middle finger for the second, and then your ring finger for the um, for the first string. So, yeah. Okay, so for the second part of the chorus that goes, um, let's say love is blind, something like that. Um, what you need to play is just the A minor. Okay. You can play the, norm, the normal A minor, okay? And um, what you need to do is you make sure you play the bass note, which is um, the A, the A string. And then you do the quick, this quick changes um, on the D. Then go back to the G. A minor. That's, that's the old song basically and what you need to do is try and listen to this song and just use this chord progression um, in the entire song but that's it for now guys